Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. This week, I thought I'd uh, crack out the uh, Tusken Raider sa slash sand people slash sand person. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is one I never had as a kid. I uh, recently, probably within the last year or two, I picked up a couple of these off a buddy of mine. Um, I just, I just really like it. And considering I did my video on the new vintage collection, uh, Tuscan Raider, and they're still down here on the table, I just thought it was a bit convenient to sort of show how far they've sort of come since the 90s. Um, yeah, obviously it comes with the, uh, Gatafi stick. Um, it's it's a weird one because he has literally has one gripping gripping hand, um, and it's not separable separable before the um separable separable. I don't even know uh, between the thumb and finger there. So the only real way you can have him holding a weapon is like that. Um, even back then, you couldn't have the iconic sort of over the head the. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and yeah, this hand here doesn't even have the ability to grip because it's sort of sculpted um, in such a way that yeah, you can't. You just can't. It's 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 a strange one. Um, but nonetheless, it's it's pretty cool. I like. I really do like the Tuscan Raiders. I think they're just iconically Star Wars. You know, like even the head sculpt on this one looks a little bit funny, but um, yeah, very much iconic to Star Wars which is which is really cool underneath he's uh, wrapped up like a mummy <laughs> I mean go figure it might make sense doesn't it <laughs> back then in the 90s I guess you know let's focus on it again yeah just completely wrapped in bandages I mean that's kind of what they look like on from the head but um yeah they, they really took it to the uh, extreme and they really did wrap it in bandages, so or cloth or whatever. But yeah, it's 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 cool, you know. Like I never did get a uh, bantha. That's still something I'm uh, on the hunt for. A good well, good price bantha. I don't know they're quite hard to come by. And uh, the power of the force one is still the. Uh, the go-to, um, go-to Bantha, the 30th anniversary one, just didn't quite, just didn't quite hit the mark. Um, but, uh, yeah, still cool. And some of the detail on this is great, like, some of the rips and tears in the, uh, in the sleeves there, which, which is cool. You know, even the sort of rips and stuff throughout the bottom of the, uh, outer robes looks good. Sort of moulding of those sort of folds in the fabric looks good. You know, I did speak last week about my uh, the Ben Kenobi. You know, it was just didn't quite look right with these. Even as a kid, I thought it's a bit weird that these aren't sort of closed up. But um, you know, it's fine. But uh, yeah, there's here's the most recent one, and this one is from pretty much smack bang in the middle, 2005. didn't have his hand through the correct sleeve so so yeah obviously they've come a long way even if you were to pick up the uh, vintage one and take a look you know they definitely definitely come a long way I think the black series one is fantastic this one here the new vintage collection one has grown on, grown on me a great deal and I did just review that so you can take a closer look at that one. But we're here, we're here, we're talking about Power of the Force in all its 90s buff He-Man glory. <laughs> He-Man inspired glory. And the Gatafi stick, let's have a look at that in comparison, you know. It's basically a mace, like it's gonna <laughs> hold this over the head, you're gonna knock someone out with that. Ah! <laughs> Die! <laughs> anyway, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Tuscan Raiders. Um, 
you know, how you feel about them. I, I like their inclusion in The Mandalorian. I love that they sort of expand on their lore a little bit. Those, that opening episode of Season 2 is just really, really cool. Um, you know, we've always sort of seen them as, uh, you know, primitive primitive beasts, you know. It's a sort of... They're tribal, but uh, they're also... They also have a code of honour and, you know, they're... We've seen that in Mandalorian, you know, you can't... Well, the one way some people will judge them is uh, not always accurate. And, uh, you know, there was some good real-life messages in there too um, that we can take on board as well. Is that, uh, you know, they're not they're not monsters, they're literally just trying to defend their, defend their homes, really. You know, they are the locals. They are... Tatooine natives, so of course they're going to, you know, infiltrate towns and, you know, pillage people that may be threatening their space. So, yeah, not to get too real worldy, but uh, there we go.